minutes ago. Zombies ate my neighbors. Now playing on Sega Genesis and Super NES, a 55 level thieving frenzy of fine cut creature features. Then don't be looking maniacs with your weed whackers, exploding soda pop, and boozy squirt gun. Save the neighbors! Or their dead meat. Zombies ate my neighbors. From Konami. How's it going, everybody? It's time for another great Mr. Postal video, and it's time for the challenge of the week. Actually, it's been time for the challenge of the week. Uh, by the time you see this, it'll be the last day of the show's challenge. And uh, Mike the Gaming Road Warrior picked our console challenge, our first of our spooky for October, and he picked Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Twing! Love that game. Absolutely love it. Uh, when that came out for the Super Nintendo, I didn't buy it uh, right away. I uh, used to rent it a lot and go up to my buddy's house and, uh, you know, we would try to rent it every chance we got and then I would just stay over. Sometimes the entire weekend would go there Friday night, go to the rental place with him and his dad or whatever and uh, get the game. Or actually, by that point, I think he might have even had his car by then and uh, we would go rent, rent it and a few other Super Nintendo games and even NES games at the time I had a Super Nintendo he had an NES and we would play that thing from Friday night till Sunday afternoon and then I'd finally drag my butt home you know, with some other games mixed in and some movies of course but Zombies Ate My Neighbors is a ton of fun on the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis, and especially if you have a second player. Two player was always the way to go. So, uh, played that a ton with him, and then eventually when I soft modded my Wii and everything, and my daughter and son were growing up there, my son and I played Zombies Ate My Neighbors a lot on that modded Wii. Uh, we would play it continuously, you know, uh, until we got to close to the end anyway, the upper levels there. And uh, we really liked playing that. We'd do it at least once a year on that. So I'm really glad that Mike picked this game. Now it has been, well, it's probably been about a year since I've played it. But I've never played it on my iArcade before. And I'm only doing that because I already have my laptop and stuff hooked up there. You know, so I'm... I'm getting behind on videos. I should be doing these challenge videos on Monday so that everybody has the whole week to play. But just check our live show each week and check our Discord to see what the challenge is uh, since I haven't been able to keep up. Still getting used to getting back to work right now. We'll be going back for my the beginning of my fourth week back since I've been off for seven months. So I've been really tired and really sore and, you know, it's long work days. So... I uh, apologize about the challenge videos being so late in the week now. But hey, at least I'm getting them made anyway at some point. But yeah, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, like I said, we played it a bunch. And then they came out with the new collection, a digital collection, with it and Ghoul Patrol, which was its sequel that I didn't play near as much before. But uh, I ended up buying that digitally for the Nintendo Switch. And then Limited Run came out with uh, the uh, physical copies of it. And so I bought the physical copy for my PS4 at the time since I already had the digital copy on my Switch. And, uh, you know, it was a really cool packaging that they did for it and everything. They they gave you both games together on your PS4 disc. And, and with this Limited Run edition, you got... The little glasses, the 3D glasses, and and you got the cards. Uh, this one was just a random card, but yeah, this I think that might have been the European box art for it. And then a 3D gallery. So you have this and you could put on your 3D glasses and look at the manual and stuff and junk. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be our challenge. Uh, make sure you get your scores in over at the Discord. Like I said you only got one night now. It ends tonight, uh, October 5th, 2024, at midnight Pacific Standard Time. Let's give this a go on the iArcade and see how it goes. A lot of times, console games 
for me don't feel so great with a uh, cabinet arcade joystick and buttons but we'll give it a shot we'll see what happens here all right all right zombies hate my neighbors now i'm gonna play this on my i arcade so i don't think i've ever ever played it with arcade buttons before but it's just a lot easier for me to capture right now I'm just set up down here with the laptop already set so it's a lot of buttons set it to eight way yeah just a toggle radar to bring up your radar to see where the neighbors are use item change item fire change weapon okay well i'll forget all that but let's get to it this is the challenge of the week and again I'm late playing there's that sound love that sound see how loud this is gonna be I might blow our eardrums out I probably should have played my Wii copy have on Wii and PS5 and the Super Nintendo. But, oh, actually, Genesis. Okay. This is easy to capture this way. Let's see if I can't screw this up. Spent more time shooting guys, but Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm already hitting a lot of the wrong buttons here. Unfortunately. I can't bring my radar up. It doesn't look like when I'm a monster. I didn't remember that. Okay. Over here. Definitely strained with arcade controls, that's for sure. Cheaters! Chucky's come out. Yep, there's a little Chucky's. This one's crazy, man. Die quick on this one. Oh no, we're gonna kill him already. Supposed to go to the clown, not me. Cheers. This is a hard, hard game. Or level.
Don't kill the baby. Don't kill the baby. He killed the baby. Oh, crap. Uh, you bastard. Ah! 
<laughs> they killed a man me right then. Come in. Oh, I hate that level. I took all my lives. I only saved three people. I don't think I'm good for last place. Good for last place. spent time on the lower levels killing more people <laughs> to get my score up. I'm not used to playing this as a high score challenge so usually my son and I are just playing to move on. instead of blast them to the harder levels. There it is. <clears throat> oh, they're gonna get killed. Thank <laughs> you. 
pushing the wrong buttons. Tag Nabbit, Charlie Babbit. My forts. <laughs> Don't have anything to blow that up with. Give me an item. Yeah, 
I don't think I can get to this guy without, like, a bazooka. But I could be wrong. I'm wrong. Well, if I have time after the expo tomorrow, I'll play again. Not on video. These videos take a while. We got two people alive. Just need a blasted squirt gun already. Blasted. Well, oh, that's it. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna play this again tomorrow after the Pittsburgh Gaming Expo if I get a chance. I'm gonna milk some enemies instead of just going right on, right on, right on like I did. Thirty-one to forty. Uh, I think that puts me in third. I don't know. I have to look. So there you have it. That was Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That's the challenge this week for the show. I said you had until tonight. October 5th, 2024, midnight Pacific Standard Time. So hurry up. Link to our Discord will be in the description. Uh, no continues. You play until you're out of lives. And that's it. Post a picture or video of your high score over in the console chat section of the show's Discord. And uh, get it in there. And winners will be announced tomorrow night, Sunday, <clears throat> October 6th at 7 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. Usually I put all this stuff in the description. I don't know if I'll have time. I'm going to the Pittsburgh Gaming Convention here uh, shortly. It's uh, I think it's after midnight uh, Saturday morning, so I'll be going there in the morning. So I'll try to get this video out as quick as I can. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to playing this game for high scores. We always played it to hurry up and find the neighbors and get the hell out of Dodge. And I accidentally did that here. I should have milked more baddies. You know, you want to make sure you save the neighbors too. But milk the baddies on the lower levels because when you get to the higher levels, especially that hedge with all the hockey mask wearing Jason type fellers, just craziness going on there. So yeah, that's my advice. If I get a chance after I come back from the convention, in the evening, maybe I'll give it another shot and follow my own advice. I should have done that. But I just, I love Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Like I said, my my best friend and I would play it just all weekend long if we could. So, what do you think of Zombies Ate My Neighbors? Did you like it? Did you ever play it? You gotta give it a try. It's probably, I'm sure, it's still out there digitally for the Switch and the PS4 or 5 or whatever. Uh, so, Give it a try. It's out there. Emulate it. And for the challenge, of course, you can emulate it or play it on original hardware, however you like. Just as long as you get the score in by midnight tonight. Thank you for joining me for another great Mr. Postal video. And I hope to see you on the next one. I really rambled. It's because it's late. It's after midnight. It's like 1 a.m. I got up at 3.40 a.m. So I haven't had any sleep yet. I'm going to go to bed.
Oh, Nacho. Come here, Nacho. No biting. No biting. Ooh! No biting! No, Nacho, stop! 